Hey, hi, I'm Bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week, does it really matter what type of surface I need my dough on? Roll it. Hello there, welcome back to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I sit on my kitchen table and try and share a little bit of bread making expertise to help you make amazing bread at home. Nearly 10,000 of you have subscribed to watch me talk about bread, which is pretty wicked. Thank you very much for joining me every week. And if you're brand new here, consider clicking subscribe if that's your cup of tea. Now, let's get on to today's topic. So what surface should we be kneading our bread dough on and does it really matter? So I've been making bread in all kinds of environments for the past 11 years, shoehorning the process into my work as a chef and teaching people in my own courses and in other people's homes. And I never arrive in somebody else's home and go, oh no, marble tables, sorry, we can't do it today. Making amazing bread is always doable in every environment, but there are a few things that you're gonna to wanna to try and avoid, which we'll get onto later. Now, if you've been here for a while, if you've been making your own bread for a while as well, you'll know that dough is sensitive to temperature. Your bread dough is sensitive to temperature. The warmer it is, the quicker it puffs, the cooler it is, the slower it puffs, and temperature is something I talk about a lot on here that you're probably already aware of. Even the other day I wrote a little article on the subject and popped it onto my blog and if you fancy having a read, check it out. The link is in the description in this video. If you have been following my advice, your dough probably ends up room temperature. That's room temperature water, room temperature ingredients, made at room temperature and it stays at room temperature for the duration. So then it might seem quite important what the surface is made out of, what you need in your dough on and that's why I get asked the question quite a bit because surfaces uh, vary depending on the materials that they're made out of the temperature varies I don't know why it's because of science but some things are cold and some things are not cold and you might think that's really important in order to make amazing bread well it's not really but it does affect it on a micro scale for example if you're needing a dough on a marble surface or a stainless steel surface or granite Surface, something that is cold, in theory, is gonna make your dough colder. But really, it's nothing to really worry about. The temperature of the dough will be lost somewhat into your surface material, therefore cooling down your dough, in theory. However, on the scale that it happens, really, it's nothing to worry about. Your dough will hold enough temperature to rise up still. It doesn't have to be that warm to rise up. It will rise up anyway if you've kneaded it on marble, if you've kneaded it on granite, and I've done all of those things. That's how I know. If I was to choose, to choose, if I had the freedom of choice to be able to choose what I'm gonna need my dough on, it would be wood because wood is not warm, it's not cold, it sort of holds a nice sort of temperature, it's not cold to the touch, it's a natural, wonderful material. And if I was to open a bakery, which by the way, I'm not interested in at all, I would have the surfaces made out of wood and quite often they are made out of wood because wood has that nice temperature, it's got enough grip, it's not too sticky, it's got grip when you need it to be grippy when you're shaping stuff up. It's a really, really lovely thing to want to be able to use. My table that I'm sitting on that I film kneading on and stuff like that is made out of wood. I don't know, like oak. But the one on my actual kitchen over there, which nobody ever sees because it's not particularly pleasant, is made of that like chipboard kitchen surface with some sort of laminated exterior. Both materials work absolutely fine, uh, as does everything else. Like I mentioned earlier, everything else does, unless your kitchen is carved out of ice, uh, you won't have a problem at all. Key points are it's got to be solid, so you can knead on it, it's not gonna wobble around, it's gotta be really sturdy surface, and secondly, it's got to be flat. A couple of things that you wanna avoid is 
Firstly, any sort of cracks or gaps, like decorative gaps some people have in their dining tables they need a dough on, all these little cracks and gaps which might hold sort of crumbs and dirt and bits and bobs you don't want to push your dough into there, lift your dough up, having held on to all that crumbs and stuff and work that into your dough that's like super gross. Or secondly, you don't want to get any like bits of dough stuck in those gaps to then, you know, just stay there forever. That'd be a real shame. Also, another thing to avoid, it sounds like a good idea to have like a plastic tablecloth, like a wipe team clean tablecloth on your table. Some people have those mats, like thin plastic mats that they roll pastry out, whatever on. But in reality, your dough is just gonna stick to it, it's gonna lift it up. You're gonna have to employ two people, one at either side of the table, to hold that mat down so it doesn't move all over the place when you're making bread. Best thing, something solid, something flat, wood, marble, stainless steel, granite, cheap, laminated chipboard, whatever it is, you're gonna be absolutely fine. It's really nothing to worry about. All the stuff that we're supposed to worry about in bread making, let's just take that one out. Let's take another one out. Let's take the surface thing out. So thank you once again for hanging out with me here every single week for a little nugget of bread making information that may well not be written into your recipe and may well stitch you up. I'm here to answer your questions. If there's anything you wanna discuss in the comments box underneath, what surface do you use that works for you? Anything that you wanna know for future videos, put it in the comments box and I look forward to seeing you next week for another bread making tip. See ya.